So here's a story for you guys. My dad's friend's telling me that uh, he knows a location in the California desert. I'm not sure if it's Death Valley. I, mean, I haven't been there, but uh, he told me if I don't tell anyone, he'll show me this place where there's 10 to 20 vintage cars off the side of a cliff that have crashed from, I guess, a previous road. And uh, I said, well, can I film it? I want to put it on YouTube. He goes, you can put it on YouTube, just uh, please don't tell no one the location. I guess he was told about this place. And uh, I guess it's pretty amazing. So we're going to go check this out, man. I'm going to go pick him up right now. Um, we're going to be traveling a lot of miles, hundreds of miles today. So uh, I want you guys to come along for the ride. I'll show you guys all the cars. I just can't tell you where it's at. I'll just tell you that I'm in Southern California in the California desert. And uh, I'm happy he's even showing, it, showing me this location because uh, he keeps talking about it and talking about it, but I never really believed him. He hasn't been there in 10 years though. So he told me there was actually an old vintage Jaguar down there. And if he remembers correctly, there was like a 60s Chevy truck there was also even an old Jaguar. So uh, we're gonna go see what this is all about. We're gonna go pick him up right now and uh, stay tuned. Let's see what happens here. Just just get in the car, come Let's on. Let's get going, come on. <laughs> you gonna take me out there or not? We're going out to the secret, secret dead man's corner. Is it really a secret? A hidden dead man's corner. Is it really a secret or no? Yeah. Nobody knows about it unless they get out and trip it, trip it, trip over it by accident. Am I allowed to film out there? Of course you are. Who's dead men tell no tales? I won't tell no one where it is. I promise you, remember? And, and all those people that died on, on that dead man's corner doesn't won't tell anybody either. All right. Do you want me to swear, swear in on this you or need anything? To, we need to swear a blood oath to not reveal this location to anybody. Okay. I'll put my hand up. I swear on the oath. Yeah. We're, talk, we're talking about... Dead man's corner. All right. You're by yourself. You're done. You're you're not climbing out of there. Guys, we made a detour. You're not we're, climbing out of there. We were driving and we seen this huge old little city or town out here. It's deserted. It's a mining camp. And look at this hole in the ground. This is a mining camp. You can't see because of the light. Joel, look at those stress those uh, trusses down yeah. there holding the wall up. Yep. Yeah. If you fell down here. You'd be dead. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna climb out of that mess right there. Let's go over here and take a look. You better be very creative. Is that an open shaft, another one? Look, that's huge. That's a huge open shaft, dude. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> that's a huge open shaft. Look at the size of these nails they put this together with. Yeah. Huge nail, look. Let me see if I can go on the other side to get a good look. view of. Size of those nails. I don't even want to get close to this edge, Dude, man. This is where, the gunners, this is where you need your. Uh, Drone? No, your massive, massive, massive flashlight. It's in the truck. Your superpower. Joel, I wouldn't even do that. You're crazy. Dude. I want that lumber down there. Yeah, right. I ain't hitting. <laughs> I want that lumber down there. Dude, that's a badass bitching door. The beauty of a damn door. Look at this old barn wood. You don't know how expensive, how, how valuable this barn wood is. It is, right? Yep. Hello, anybody here? All these things have a have a purpose. Man, someone went crazy on busting out this drywall. They had a lot of a lot of air, stupid energy to waste, didn't they? A lot of stupid energy to waste. Look at this concrete table. <laughs> wow. O M G, Dooners. 
Now that's valuable. Concrete table? Yep. <laughs> that's valuable, dude. Yeah. What was the purpose of that? Invincible to time. Chemical, impervious to chemical. We're probably breathing chemicals now, eh? It'll never wear down? No. The wind blew that shit away a long time ago. <laughs> Look at these concrete tables. This one's even bigger. Yeah, see, these are too heavy for somebody to move them out of here. I, we, I want a dolly. We got to get a dolly over here. And do what? And get these out of here. I want these concrete tables. They're very, extremely valuable. They are pretty cool to have in your backyard or something. That's totally cool. Totally. Oh, 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 please. All right, guys, we were supposed to leave a long time ago. We're still walking around. There's just little houses and structures everywhere, as you can see in the distance. So we're really leaving this time. So stay tuned. That's a brick. All right, we're going to stop at one last house before we leave. This whole structure is welded and made out of this metal piping. Oh, it is, huh? Yep. What's in this bucket over here? Probably paint or something. Old dried up paint. Look at, this, look at the size of this truck. The size of that truck. Oh, yeah. Huge ass truss. What size that huge truss? It's just an old metal structure welded together with round tubing. We haven't seen no snakes yet, and I'm kind of scared of rattlesnakes. I mean, I'm not scared of them, but I just don't want to step on one. Alright, we made another pit stop. We've been driving off-road on some pretty crazy road. You could probably make it in a car if you went really slow, but uh, there's a lot of dips and holes, but uh, we're, our destination is over there. You can see all those little spikes coming out of the ground. Those are called the Trona Pinnacles. So we're going to four-wheel drive over there. We're actually still in two-wheel drive. We never once put it in four-wheel drive. Just to let you know, you can make it in a two-wheel drive truck. Just don't go off the uh, the road. Some of this area out here is like uh, sand. So let's keep going. All right, we're still driving. We're almost there. There was a car behind us, but the terrain got a little crazy. So I think they turned around. You can make it though in a two-wheel drive truck or SUV. A car would be a little bit difficult. Borax. Borax. Borax and potash. Everything. There's a lot of areas out here where the whole entire area, like the size of a football field, will be like white powder. You can see it out there. It's like a sea of whiteness. Do you see that? I'll pull over when I'm driving back. It just flies everywhere. It's almost like flour. You can probably see it on my truck on the side. See how the, the tires are kind of white? It's from this weird dust that's out here. It's crazy. Let's keep going. Look at that titanium, son of a gun. Can we drive in here? Yeah. We're gonna drive inside of here and see what's in here. Dead end? 
We heard they filmed the movie in here, Star Wars or Star Trek or something. Rumor has it. Let's pull wow. over and take a look. Yeah, there's a vehicle coming in the other direction, Dunner. Is there? Yeah. Wow, this is unreal. You know what you know what the smell is, Winter? What's it smell like? It's borax. It's it's a chemical. Yeah. You can smell the borax and, and, and all the stuff that you used to mine from out here. You know what? This is like uh this it's coral almost. It's like coral. Yep, this was all underwater at one time. Look at that. It's a natural landmark. Wow, this is unreal. It was all designated 1968. That's what it was. Yep, this was all underwater at one time, Dooner. Wow, this is trippy. Otherwise, look at that giant piece of coralish underwater rock. Let's go take a look at it. This was a huge, giant see it one time like a coral yeah one, one of the one of those flights right right over there Dooners, said that yeah it is like coral almost like seashell material or something i don't know this was this was a giant inland sea at one time i'm pretty sure that's what the plaque said Did you go down? I just let him take it. We just hiked up this hill. Unreal. We weren't even supposed to stop here, but we seen it in a distance and uh, made the decision. I have to go all the way around. Who? I may not be able to go down that steep hill. It's so steep, right? Man, I can't describe the feeling of this stuff. It almost feels like concrete. Honestly, it's beautiful out here. So, Dooners, where's Death Valley anyway? We're going to be near it right now when we keep going. We crawled up here. There's an open mine shaft, but well, this is they plugged it. They plugged it up. This is completely, totally. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. You could hike up here and, or you can even camp out here for a couple of days. It's just so quiet. It's amazing. So somebody actually dug a big, huge mine going down? Yeah. It's blocked off with wood. Yeah. Huh? All right, guys. We just talked to a couple guys out here, and they told us that they filmed Star Wars or Star Trek or something like that in the past. So I don't know if it's true or not, but... Of course it is. Check it out. We're leaving the Pentacles. We're gonna go, go to our original destination. Stay tuned. Okay, so we were reading on the sign over here. It wasn't Star Trek or Star Wars that was filmed here. It was Planet of the Apes. Right here. ER, Star Trek V, The Gate 2, Holes, Disney's Holes. Oh, what's Star Trek also, huh? Lost in Space or ER? I used to love watching Lost in Space on TV. That was great. Yeah. That was a fun one. All right, guys. We're going to keep going. We made so many stops. Our original destination has not been reached yet. So stay tuned. Okay, when you're driving out here, there are certain areas where it looks like it's snow on the ground. 
it's not snow. According to the signs back there, it's borax, I guess. It's like a, it seeps out of the ground. I mean, it looks 100% like snow. It's so weird. Yeah, that's Trona, Dooners. That's Trona. You can see it on the, you see it on the hill over there, a, a big key. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I bet they're over there mining borax. Yeah, so I guess it's all borax. I guess they use it to make soap and stuff. But we're going to look further into this right now. We're going to go into the city of Trona and ask some information from some people. Okay, so as you approach oh, here, oh, oh, oh. notice how this guardrail oh. and this turn just veers hard to oh, the left. Oh my god. So on this hillside down oh. below is oh. gonna be where the cars are. Oh my god. Whoa, dinner. Alright, so that's where the guardrail is, and it makes a, a hard turn, like a half U. So all along this cliff edge, there's going to be cars. You can't really see them, but if you zoom in, you can see that one in the center of the frame. So we're going to go down there, count them, and uh, see how many we could actually find. And we are going to document it all. Okay, so we hiked down towards the center. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard for him to go back up. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna make it. You won't. You'll just have to go. You'll just have to go that way. No, I'll make it. You just need help. You'll just have, when you get down to that Bel Air, then you have to cut over that way. The first car we spotted, and it's actually far from the turn, is a fifty-something Bel Air. Fifty-six, fifty-seven. So let's make it down there, <sighs> guys. He's stuck up there. I'm forty-four. He's seventy. I'm almost to the car right now. There it is in the center. I told him to stay up there. It's just too dangerous. Joel, just stay up there. How are you going to get up? It's easier to climb up than it is to climb down. Joel, how old are you? Joel, how old are you? 17. Huh? 17. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, guys, we got him a stick, a pole. I found this metal rod. You gonna be all right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna sit on my butt here real slow. Oh, real slow. Real slow. We're almost to the car. Shit. I can see where somebody came down here before. Look. Yeah, there's a trail. There's a whole trail where somebody came down here before. All right, guys. I need the public's help on this. What year is this? Fast. Maybe they lost control. Drunk driver, you don't know. It's a two door. Let's go on the other side. I'll turn the camera on and then turn it back on. Yeah, my truck's right there. So that's where it had to have gone off right there. Right. All right, so here's the back of it. What year is this? I'm asking YouTube. 55? 55? Yep, look at the grill. That's a 55 grill. California desert. 55 grill. Still some damages. Still's got the leaf springs, the rear end. <laughs> some of the interior. It's 
cool. The first car we find is probably going to be the best car. Let's see what else we can find out here. Still in it, dude. The motor's in it? Yeah. Look at the hood, guys. Oh. You're not? Maybe a crane or a helicopter? Let's go look at the motor, see what's in it. I'm going to go down this shit on my ass. <laughs> There's the firing order. This car could talk, boy. You all right? Yeah. Let's keep calling, guys. There's gotta be more cars out here. Let's count them. This is number one. Look at this rock. It's crazy and I just fell over here and bent my finger backwards it scared the heck out of me what is this I know most of the cars are that way I told him you go that way I'm gonna go over this way about 30 seconds just to make sure there's no cars this way because we're going to count them. We have two hours of daylight. I don't see any more cars in this direction. I mean, there could be some. I'd probably have to walk through a couple more of these little valleys. I see a car rim and I see some car rims way out there. There's a lot of them. But I'm going to go that way to make sure he don't die. Right there. Yeah. What, what kind of rock is this? I don't know. But it has some really bright colors. Yeah. Like rocks. Little little mildew, little funguses. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we see our next car. It's this way. We're trucking along. I'm not sure if this is volcanic rock or not. It's everywhere. It's all black rock. Looks to be. Could be volcanic, not sure. Beautiful rocks out here. Let's keep going. We don't have time to talk about rocks. All right, we hit our second vehicle. It's a truck, of course. Um, I don't know what it is. It's either a Ford or a Chevy. It could be a Dodge. If you know on YouTube, please chime in. Yeah, it's up off a pretty gnarly cliffside. Oh, there's the bed. Look, I didn't see that. Oh, it's a step side. I don't know if it's a Ford or Dodge. I'm going to try to get closer. Highly desirable. All right, let me get inside so you guys can see the interior. I'm sure some of you pros already know what type of truck this is. Look on the steering wheel. It says IH or HI. That's weird. Maybe it's an aftermarket steering wheel. I don't know. International. Oh, international? Let's try to find the VIN. I'm going to go to the other side. An international dinner? I don't know. We haven't run into any snakes. Yeah, I'm looking for snakes. I'm scared of that too. I'm, I'm trying to hike so fast, I'm not really paying attention. Is this for the choke or what? Okay, I made it to the engine bay. I thought there was going to be a VIN number in here, but I guess there's not. My buddy says international. I don't know. Uh, I was born in 77. He was born in the, I think, 40s. So I'm not too knowledgeable on this <coughs> era.
Look how steep this is. I'm just like holding on to the edge of this rock. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going that way and catch back up with him. Okay, I hiked down probably 50 feet and found this. It looks like it's the part of a frame to a vehicle. Here's the bumper. Looks like someone might have cut up a car down here. They might have drove in from the backside and probably wanted pieces or parts of it. And uh, not sure. We're not going to count this as a car, so we've only found two cars so far. So my biggest fear is it's three o'clock. We've got two hours. He's hiking extremely slow. I don't want to say nothing, but uh, it's going to take him two hours to hike out of here. So we need to be out of here before dark. We don't have flashlights. We have flashlights in the truck, but we just spotted one, two, three, three cars right there. And then there's some more somewhere in this area. So let's keep going. But I'm going to have to really have a lot of concern about him. He's uh, not hiking good. Okay, here's a modern car, probably late 70s, early 80s. Blood, it's too old for blood. This car's been here forever. Okay, here's a qu another quick video of this car. We're not, I'm not going to spend too much time on this car because it's just something modern, it's not too vintage. It's called a Sprint Plus. Oh, there's a VIN number. Oh, Suzuki. Suzuki. Someone pulled the motor out of it. I'm coming up. This is an American hood. Yeah, it is. This is not some flim flam hood right here. <laughs> what do you think it is? Dude, this is a giveaway right here. This is a freaking giveaway. Oh, Ford. F O R D. Right? Yep. yep. All right, guys, we're going to keep hiking upward. Upward, upward. That, that, that's probably the French. The Fancher out? Out of that Ford. Careful, though, Joel. Joel, you cannot fall out here, or we're screwed. Take your time, use a stick, push yourself gently. Let's go. Up. Let's go. There's, there's a lot of cars up there. Turner. You weren't kidding about the pile of right there, cars. Look at this tailgate we found off like a 70s, 80s truck. Not really sure. Could be 60s. All right, guys. Here's a telltale sign of what kind of car that is. Somebody took the ornament. We're on car number four, if we're counting correctly. Somebody stole the ornament. We believe this is car number four. Well, I didn't know it was going to take all day to get out here. Yeah. Take your time. Don't rush because I don't want... I'm over here telling him to be careful. I fell earlier. almost died about five minutes ago. Dude, is it a Studebaker or is it a... We're going to... YouTube's going to answer all these questions for us. The only... The only the car community. Did you get a, the picture of that... The hood? Yeah. I'm going to get a picture of the front too. The shape of that... Yeah. So I hope. All right, so.
across a crazy, crazy car accident scene on the hill. Are you okay? Yeah. It has a guy's name actually riveted to the side of this car. And it says Semper Fidelis, which was he? He was a Marine. This guy died in this car, probably right where it landed. And there's another car on top of it, which is just insane. Or on its way down. He wasn't belted in because he got thrown. Yeah, so let's, have, let's say a prayer for this guy, guys, because this is crazy. I didn't think we we're gonna find a memorial action out here, you know. That is crazy. If anybody in these videos could tell me what kind of cars these are, I'm not too good with cars. I know the basics like Chevelles and Malibu's and stuff, but stuff like this, the older cars where it gets past 50s, like 30s, 40s, I don't know nothing about them. This is crazy. That's cool. Someone came down there and did this for him. You know, he's remembered. So, rest in peace, Kenneth Shanks. All right, so we just got on top here. As you can see, the bottom of that car is just floating in air. It's actually, if you look closely, moving with the wind right now. So, we're going to stay clear of that car. It's just barely sitting there. Wow, look at these rocks came down and hit this car. It has a wedge, so it's probably not going to fall, but it's just it's an optical illusion. There's nothing under that car. Let me turn the camera off and go to the other side so I can film the marine car. Because I almost fell just now, and it scared the living daylights out of me. All right, so I just came down the other side. I got my good footing right here down there it gets crazy but I just want to show you this car if you guys on YouTube could tell me what kind of cars these are I'd love to know in the years We just seen a guy up top looking at us with binoculars. <laughs> He's probably wondering like, what the hell are those guys doing down there? A lot of people don't know these cars are here because you really can't see them. There's no turnover point there. There's only two turnover points at the end and you can only really spot one car. So, look at that original door handle. This is the car that the guy passed away in, so. I'll put this guy's name in the description of my video and uh, as a memorial. Yeah, I'm coming. All right, guys, we got about an hour and something left. Let's keep going. All right, we lost count. We got two cars here, a car in our vision, three. Four, five, six, seven, the Bel Air's eight. We're gonna stop counting and you guys could just count on YouTube because we got other things to worry about. So we'll focus on just showing you the cars and trying to get out of here alive. Wait. All right, so is this a Mopar? It is might this, be. Is this Chrysler? Because Ford has square headlights too, remember? Oh. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think there was a survivor in this one. No, I certainly do not. Yeah, it's hard to tell what this car is. Yeah, can you get around and get a, a look at the other side, Dooners? Yeah. I'm too tired to try to get around to that. Okay. Okay, there you guys go. <laughs> wow, this thing has a full motor, tranny, everything. But I just don't know what it is. It's freaking unrecognizable, Dooners. 
It's got a cool grill on it. I'll get down closer so you guys can see the grill. All right, we got down as low as we could get. This, this dude did not survive, Gunner. There was no survivor out of this one. Big car, it's a long car. Yeah, it's, it's long. So what is that, what does the pasture side look like over there? You can't it? really see it. Huh? You can't see it. Really? No. Okay, YouTube, do your work on this. Tell us what it is and what year it is. This, this car, this car just disintegrated in. All right, so here's a little bit better of a view on this car. I'm wondering if there was even a person in this car, how they got him out. Cause it's crushed down to the, the doors. I'm gonna try to peek in here, make sure there's nobody in here. <laughs> I see a bunch of nests in there, like weeds and stuff. Let's move on to the next car. Let's keep going. Okay, so it looks like we have a Honda Civic. I'm guessing. Is this a Civic? Looks like it. Not sure about this car, and of course, this is a, some kind of Chevy. That's a Chevy. That's a, like a 53, 52 Chevy right there. Okay, and this is a Chevy wagon, right? Yep. Chevy station wagon. <laughs> this is where most of the cars piled up. Right here, Gunner. It's going to be kind of hard working our way around this pile. It looks like my easiest way is going to be up to go around it. Car still has a column in it, the steering column. Can you imagine what this car would be worth if uh, it wasn't wrecked? Whoa. Same with that 50, uh, 56, 55, whatever Bel Air. Is there really another car on the other side of this? I think so. Okay, here's the back of the wagon. I was trying to find an easier way around. I'm not sure if you could tell in the video, but this might look easy to hike in video, but it's actually like this. In the video, it kind of looks like this. It's like this, it's hard. I'm a pretty good hiker. I mean, I've been hiking my whole life and this is difficult. So it's hard to get down here. I can't believe my buddy actually made it. He fell the first 30 seconds when we got down here, he fell hard. And I was like, oh crap. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to make it, but. I found a stick immediately. I was like, I need to find him a stick. So the minute I got him a stick, he got his balance back. You gotta have that extra. Yeah, there might have been an avalanche or something. We're thinking this front end bumper, control arms, steering box is from the wagon because it's missing. There's a bumper and a grill, a straight six. Where do you see the engine? Right here. Oh, in this car. I'm gonna crawl up here. High. Bumper. So, straight six in this car. What is this? The Chevy? Yep. Okay, so the wagon's over there. This. The Chevy. It's the Chevy Bel Air. This is. Yeah, this is like a '52 or '53 or something like that. And then we have the Honda Civic, and then. That rust bucket over there is probably Ford or Mopar. We don't see any more cars, but no. he's going to continue to hike up here. This is Dead Man's Corner. Dude. I'm going to hike over one more hump and see if we can find anything else, and then we'll hike all the way over, up to the top dude. and go home. That's already after the corner. I'm going to catch up with you. Keep going. Check out this engine I found. I was like trying to come straight down through these rocks in a straight line. And this was in between these rocks. Some kind of a, a motor. 4B2459. But what is it? Oh, look at this. That's 
scared the heck out of me. I was like, I felt a rumbling. I was like, is there an avalanche or something? Holy Jesus. Okay, there's the front of it. I don't know. I don't think it goes to an actual car. It looks too heavy duty, like it's to a tractor or something. I'm unsure. Okay, so I told him to go up. I spotted a car way out here. I'm hiking to it. There it is. We're gonna get closer. It looks like a Volkswagen. I'm not really sure. <laughs> my buddy, my dad's buddy actually made it to the top. Thank God, I thought I was gonna have to carry him out of here. I told him, you can start hiking. You take too long. <laughs> so let's get closer and take a look. I have no idea what this is. Let me get some good angles on it, so. Oh, let me get the tail lights, so. All you YouTube guys will know. I have no clue. I know it's not a Volkswagen, it's like a, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you can tell they cut the top off. It looks like someone cut it straight across probably to get the people out of here. If they lived, I don't know. <clears throat> this is probably car 10, 11, 12. I lost count, but... Um, there's a bench seat over there. I'm going to hike up over there and see what is, what's going on over there. I could stay down here all day. Come down here in the morning, backpack in here with a lunch and some stuff just to clean your hands and stuff and like wipe your face off. I could stay all day long. Look at this car part just sitting on this rock right here. That's weird. This whole thing is like a battleground of car parts. Check out this bench seat out of something. My buddy's yelling at over there, yelling at me, saying there's another car. I'm almost done. Like, I'm exhausted, so I've been driving all day and did some other stuff this morning, so I'm kind of tired. But let's go look. One more car. Okay, here's a deck lid. Looks like Volkswagen. I don't know. Unsure, let's keep going. There must be some like wild horses or burros living on this cliff edge or something. Cause look at this. I mean, this is a cliff. Like, must be a donkey. I don't know. Man, this car was hard to get to. Okay, so what is this? Well, it's a four-door, of course. There's some people probably so smart on YouTube, they could probably tell me the make of every car right off the top of their head, probably. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a message on the hood of this. Let's 
see what it says. I came, I misjudged, I went over. In the comments, guys, please tell me what this is. What kind of car this is. I think I'll be tagging patina in my video. I mean, these cars have the best patina ever. All right, I'm gonna start hiking to the top. I might find another car, who knows, but I appreciate everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you guys wanna see a lot of storage auction videos, I buy storage units all through Southern California. I go to car shows all through Southern California. Tune in, subscribe. I post one to five videos a week. So see you guys then. All right, guys. This is going to be extra credits for this video. I hiked up. We got to the top. I found this vintage oil can. Let me get on the other side before I get hit on this dead man's curve. See that curve? We found this vintage oil can as I was hiking up. We're going to leave it here for uh, in memory of Kenneth Shanks.